Proton Pass tutorial, how to use Proton Pass step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Proton Pass. Proton Pass allows you to securely store, share, and auto log in to all of your accounts using their end to end encryption trusted by millions. Now, you don't have to remember each individual password, instead, you can save them all in Proton Pass and be secured. You have protected end-to-end -end encryption with security that you can trust. Proton Pass is open source and independently audited by third-party experts, and it is available wherever you may need it. So you can download this as a Chrome extension, or you can download Proton Pass on your iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and web app. So all major extensions are covered and it automatically syncs logins across all of your devices. So if you create a new account on using Proton Pass to sign up for any platform, and then you log in on your phone to that same application, Proton Pass will have your login details synced from your PC. Now let's get started with Proton Pass. To get started, you're going to click on create a free account. And once you click on create a free account, you're going to type in your email address. And once you do that, you're going to type in your password. So I'm just gonna decide on the suggested password. Use a strong pass. So now that we have created an account and we have verified our email address, Proton Pass is creating our basic system where we're going to set up our recovery phrase for our account. Now, because Proton Pass is going to serve as your all in one, you can either download your account with a recovery phrase. So you can download the PDF and you have to ensure that you're saving this somewhere. Ideally, you want to write it down and store it somewhere safely. You can put it in, you know, in a hidden spot in your room. And this is going to be the one and only recovery phrase that you can use. If you ever get locked out of your Proton account, you're not going to be able to recover any of your passwords without having this recovery phrase. So that is why it's really important to understand this. So download your recovery kit and you want to open that up. Once you open that up, you will have a PDF which you can, you know, read. And once you do that, you can proceed with Proton Pass. So from there, you can click on Get Proton Pass for Chrome. And once you do that, this will open up the Chrome Web Store. Now in the Chrome Web Store, you have the Proton Pass application, which is basically going to function as a detector. And it's going to tell you when you can save a password and whether, you know, you want to categorize passwords together. So you're going to click on add to Chrome over here, click on add extension. And once you do that, your extension will be added on the top right. Once you've done that, you're going to click on done and I'm going to pin my extension and then click on done. And now we're going to click on connect Proton account. And once we click on connect Proton account, we're going to have to log in. And now once you've logged into your account, your Proton Pass is ready to use. Now, if I go into importing my passwords, I can import my passwords from Google. I can import from Firefox or any other tool. We can click on import password and you have different password managers that you might be using and you can import all of your passwords from there. This includes Google Chrome, Safari, LastPass, NordPass, KeePass, Edge, Impass, Brave, Bitwarden, or even One Password. You can also view your account settings, click on General to view your general account appearance, as well as your aliases and security. Now, if I go ahead and sign up for anything, let's say I want to go ahead and sign up for MailChimp. Now, instead of having to manually type everything out, I can click on the Proton Pass over here and you guys can see it's telling me that there is no login found. Now, if I click on create and I start creating a account, you can see it's suggesting to me that I can use my email and then I can fill it with a safe password that it has generated for me, which it can save for me without me having to store anything. And the best part about using Proton Pass is that it's free. However, some more premium features are available at higher prices. 
Now on the free version of ProtonPass, you have access to unlimited login notes and devices. You have the browser and mobile apps, as well as a password generator, and you have 10 hide my email aliases provided. You also have alerts for weak and reused passwords, and passkeys are going to be supported across all of your devices. However, for only $2.99 per month, but if you opt for monthly plans, it's going to cost you around £5. You're going to have additional features, including unlimited hide my email aliases, integrated two-factor authentication, secure wallet sharing, secure link sharing, unlimited credit cards, dark web monitoring, file attachments, advanced account protection, your custom domain for aliases, additional mailboxes for aliases, and you can initiate a new email from your alias. Then on the Pass Family version, you have six Pass Plus accounts and an admin panel for your family. Then you have the Proton Unlimited, which integrates mail, calendar, drive, and VPNs. You have an all-in-one subscription that has Proton Mail with end-to-end -end encryption, which includes 15 email addresses and support for custom domains. You also have the Proton Calendar, which includes and supports up to 25 shared calendars, color coding, and more. Then you have a VPN, which includes over 8,600 countries, 10 devices, high-speed streaming, ad blockers, malware protection, and VPN accelerators. And then you can secure your files with cloud storage. So Proton Pass is definitely a tool that I would recommend to you guys, which you can check out because of some of the amazing features it has. Now, not only are you saving passwords, but you're using a simple password manager to set up email aliases, which means that you basically have a premium email and you can safely receive emails in your inbox. You don't have to worry about your data ever being breached or you being on random lists and your security being compromised. So if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those. And if you have any specific topics that you look forward to, also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video